There's one more reason you should have a will and sometimes have a trust. This is a real world story from a potential client that I talked to today. You're probably going to see this video and I'm talking about you. Um, this person had uh, someone in their family that passed away. This person that passed away had kids, young kids, and a girlfriend, so was not married. The person that died didn't have a will. So when this person dies, everything goes to their kids, to their young kids. A guardian was appointed to handle the, the assets for the children, and there was a house involved. The only thing to do in this situation is to sell the house. The girlfriend wanted to keep the house because they were her kids, and wanted to be able to live in the house and and use the house uh, in the future, but she couldn't because she can't afford to buy the house herself. So now the house is gonna get sold. They're trying to figure out what to do. So they're not out on the street and everything is a big mess, all because they didn't plan. So go plan.